and welcome back to my channel, Plentyful Picnic. I'm Ashley, and today I'm going to be doing another What I Eat in a Day video. As you could tell by my hair, I just woke up and I'm ready to eat some breakfast. If you're not already subscribed to my channel, definitely subscribe down below. For breakfast, I'm going to be having some overnight oats I made last night. These are pumpkin pie overnight oats. It has pureed pumpkin, some chia seeds, rolled oats, also some maple syrup and pumpkin pie spice. It is really good and it's a perfect make ahead breakfast for fall. And then I also topped it with some homemade granola, walnuts, and pomegranate. And then I'm also gonna pick some strawberries to eat with breakfast. Not all of the toppings fit right away, so I have to eat some and then add more toppings and then keep eating. And then you don't have to throw away the chops of the strawberries. They're actually edible and very nutritious, so I just eat the strawberry tops separately. It is already noon and I would normally be eating lunch pretty soon, but I'm meeting a friend later this afternoon for some lunch, so I'm going to have a snack right now. I was just filming a video on how to make coconut yogurt, so I have some of the coconut yogurt here and I'll eat some of it for a snack. Now this is quite a bit of yogurt for me, so I'm just going to eat some of the granola and yogurt off from the top. I usually make oat milk yogurt, but I wanted to do something different and then film a video making coconut yogurt, so that's why I'm having coconut yogurt. I have some roasted butternut squash seeds and I'm just gonna have a handful of those. I like butternut squash seeds a lot better than pumpkin seeds because they're a lot smaller and crunchier and easier to chew. I'm eating lunch at this little drive-in at Sunflower Drive. It's near Sacramento. We both got the nut burgers. It's a nut patty and it has some sprouts and some veganaise also and some lettuce. This nut burger is really good and it has lots of greens. We got a vegan brownie, and I'm here with my friend Kira. Hello. So this is the peanut butter vegan fudge delight. Yeah, fudge brownie delight. <laughs> it's really rich. Mm. That brownie was very rich, and so we're gonna go on a walk right now before we do some exercising. <laughs> Found some friends. Hello, friends. <laughs> That's so cute. I'm now on my way home back from the park and I'm stopping at Grocery Outlet on my way home because they have so much vegan ice cream that's so cheap. I've gotten some ice cream that's only like $2. That's normally $6. Look at all this vegan ice cream for only $2.49. So I got a bunch of ice creams. Here's one of them and it only costs $2.50 for each one of these and I'll do a taste test of these ice creams once I get home. I have a hack for you if you want your non-vegan family or partner to eat more vegan. Just fill the freezer with super yummy and delicious non-vegan, I mean non-dairy ice cream and they'll just eat all that non-dairy ice cream and not have to buy any more dairy ice cream. This is what I got from grocery outlet. I got a bag of persimmons. I don't like that it's in plastic of course but they're literally rotting so they would have gone to waste otherwise. And then I got some vegan cheddar cheese. I thought this looks pretty good. And then I got some pumpkins. I figured these are definitely going to go to waste because it's Halloween today and pumpkin season is almost over. And then I got some vegan morning star steak strips. And then I got a bunch of the so delicious ice creams. I'll do a taste test of these after dinner. For part of my dinner, I'm having some leftover butternut squash chili I made the other day. It has butternut squash, tomatoes, and green peppers from my garden, and then some corn I got from the farmer's market. And then I also added some of the vegan steak strips I just got for some more protein. And then also for dinner, I'm going to have some of this chard and kale salad, and I also added some of the chard stems. 
on that so those don't go to waste and then some tomatoes from my garden some cucumbers from my garden and then also some of those tahini lemon juice and water and another little bit of pepper in this dressing it's the tree of life but it's kind of sagging now I have just a few pints of the non-dairy ice cream and I'm wearing all black so I thought my go-to costume of a black cat would be appropriate and Mittens approves of my costume. So I'm going to do a taste test of the vegan ice creams I got. First up is peachy maple pecan. I've never had this kind before. It's by the brand So Delicious. This one is really good. It's very peachy. It has a peach swirl and I really like the pecan taste in this one also. And then moving on to the next so delicious ice cream. Next up, I have the toasted coconut key lime flavor. And I have had this one before. This one is also very good. It's very coconutty and it has little bits of coconut in it. And I love the lime also. It kind of reminds me of a key lime pie. And then up next is blueberry cardamom. Sweet, not berry, spicy. Berry, uh huh. This one is also very good. It's very blueberry, but it's kind of a bit flat of a taste. The and then next, I didn't realize that we had more non dairy ice creams in our freezer. So I have the Ben and Jerry's chocolate caramel cluster non-dairy frozen yogurt we have 300 points. and i don't think i've tried this one before but it looks really good very chocolatey i love a lot of chocolate this one is very good also i mean i don't think any of them are going to be bad this one is very rich dark chocolate and it has nuts in it it's a bit of a richer flavor than the last blueberry one and then the final one is the Ben & Jerry's Cherry Garcia. I've had this one before, but it's been a while, so I don't exactly remember how it tastes. Oops. I really love this one. I love the cherries and the little fudge bites in that as well. Well, all these ice creams were very good, and I highly recommend if you have a grocery outlet near you, definitely pick up some of these because these are so cheap and these are so delicious. They're so good. And so if I'm gonna have to choose a favorite, I'd have to say I really like this peach one. The key lime, I love this one. And then I do love both these Ben and Jerry's. I have to say I do like this chocolate caramel one. Well well, thanks for watching today's video of what I eat in a day as a vegan. And if you're not already subscribed, definitely hit that subscribe button down below. I hope you had a wonderful Halloween and I hope to see you soon in my next video. Bye! Meow meow! Me and my kitties. Hi there.